The Ugandan army says it's comfortable working in the south of the Central African Republic, where its troops know the terrain well but not the north. The United Nations request for a peacekeeping force indicates that Uganda should deploy forces in North Central Africa, which Uganda says is not known to them. We have not agreed on where they want us to deploy. The UN wants us to deploy to the further north near the border with Chad. And we have said we are not going to do that. We would like to deploy this force in an area where the UPDF has already secured in Hotumbomu province and areas of Mbomu territory. And if they can't agree with that, we will not deploy. About 850 soldiers from Uganda are to be deployed on a peacekeeping mission under the UN mission in Central Africa Republic if the UN agrees to the deployment terms. We would send that force, but we want to make sure that it can be deployed in an area that is already under our control, okay? Because the force we have there has not covered the entire territory that is supposed to be secured of the LRA. And the United Nations has a mandate to, to ensure security for the entire Central African Republic. Uganda already has about 3,000 soldiers in Central Africa Republic under the African Union mandate in a bid to hunt down warlord Joseph Kony. Fighting in the Central Africa Republic has raged on for months since the Seleka rebels overthrew the government in March last year. The UN warns of a growing humanitarian problem. The Ugandan army says the request to have 850 soldiers is not enough for the entire Central Africa Republic. Ugandan forces are expected to join other African countries who have contributed troops to stabilize the Central Africa Republic once a formal arrangement is reached. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.